Hi, this is Khalid Naim, Talking VFX Trainer. I hope you're all safe and well. In this tutorial, we will talk about Blackmagic Fusion interface and its nodal system, then how to configure your first composite. Blackmagic Fusion is the most advanced compositing software for visual effects artists, used on over 1,000 Hollywood blockbusters and many TV shows, like Avatar, 300, Spider-Man, 2012, and more. It was created by Aeon Software, bought later by Blackmagic, which currently publishes it under the name of Blackmagic Fusion. Blackmagic recently added an integrated version of Fusion to resolve DaVinci. It is a very powerful VFX software. And you can download a free version which is about 90% of the paid version. This software use a node-based compositing environment. Not on layers like After Effects. Let's start. When you open Blackmagic, by default, you have four main panels, which have different types of specific tasks. The flow area, this is the flowchart. This is basically where all does. Here you importing all sort of material, applying effects, creating your 2D and 3D scenes. Two viewer panels. So, on these two panels, you can visualize your original footage, or you applied effect in the flow area to see the result. You can view your 2D or 3D composition. This is the time ruler. From left to right, you have set your global start time, your render start time, the render end time, and the global end time. This button to turn up on the sound. This one is the render button. Here, your playback controls. Loop controls. Buttons options to turn on or turn off high quality display. Disable or enable the motion blur. The proxy mode. The auto proxy mode. And this button to disable or to enable the selective update in the viewers. On the right side, you see the inspector or the controls area. This is where your tools and modifiers sit and where it can change the values of the individual control. The console. This panel which gives feedback from the system, or which allows you to test short lines of script. The spline editor. You take control of your animation using the spline editor. Adjustments to tween and speed of keyframes in the value graph, or speed graphs greatly improve the appearance of your animation. The timeline where you can modify animation and keyframes. To bring some sort of material into Fusion to create a composite, you can do that in various ways. First one, I click directly on the loader icon on the left. Or press Shift and Space to bring the Select tool and typing LD, select loader tool, then shoots the video to work on. Or, just by dragging it directly from the Explorer, Fusion will create automatically a loader. You can also drag multiple clips into Fusion. Select two files in Explorer, drag and drop them on the flow. And Fusion will automatically create not two loaders, but also a merge of these two images. One as background and the other as foreground. The swapping merge node inputs, hit Ctrl T. To switch the display from two views to one, I click on this button in co- To pan in any viewer, hold down the middle and the left mouse button and move your mouse to the left or to the right to zoom out or to zoom in. 
To navigate in the views, or in the flow area, hold down the middle mouse button and move your mouse around. Now, we have basic composition. Our dark room in background with a chair in foreground. So, now we will add specials nodes to adjust our scene. I add transform node to scale my chair a little. Then, I do some color correction for foreground element to matching it well with my background image. Then, I add a ray effect to simulate the light coming from outside through the window. I make some adjustments to my effect. I will add in crop lines to the top and bottom of my composition to give it a cinemascope anamorphic look. So, I import a cinemascope image. I connect the output of this image to the output of the last merge. Now, it's look better, like film. I add a color corrector node to adjust the contrast in the gamma. I think it's okay like that. Now we will launch the final rendering of your first composite. So, we call a saver node. Click shift and space bear. Type in SV. Select the node and click add. Choose you export forma and click save. All you have to do is clicking on the render button. Set you frame range. Choose final for you output render. Then click star render button. As you can see, it's starting to finalize the work. Now my render is finished. Like you see, here is the final result. I only added smoke and a little camera animation. You will find the links for the elements used in this tutorial below in the description. If you have any questions, you are welcome. That's all. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And hit the little bell button to get instant notifications when we upload a new series of tutorials for you. If you are new here and you want to learn VFX, this is the right place for you.